This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Gill Factor Records presents Gill Factor's new single, Do It, Do most. it most. Links below. Make sure you go support now. The swag's heavy, the jig's steady. I rep PX rock steady. We born ready. And let's get right into the news. So Meek Mill, uh, we kind of talked about this a little bit earlier, but he is the main reason I think he's mad. First, you know, labels kind of do take advantage. Okay, we got we to say that, right? But Meek Mill's really mad because, you know, he feels like he was entitled to some of Roddy Rich, you know, and he probably was, you know, like... Um, he says, I made it. First, he said he made Atlantic probably made him, I don't know, 70 to 100 million. He, he has some of that money. Don't, don't think he doesn't. Rick Ross has some of that money. Uh, a lot of money was spent. It costs a lot of money to make an artist an artist. But he said, uh, they, they took Roddy Rich from me. Uh, and you know, they said, I can't drop any music nine months after my album. They could, you know, well, they have a lot of artists. They don't have enough money to keep spending it on everybody else. You know what I mean? Like, they got to cycle the money, right? Then he said, Roddy, my youngin' still, but the label separated us just like they separated me and Rose. I, and now he's putting it all, you know. I think this is just him clearing up the problems that people assume he had with Rick Ross and said, you know, I ain't scared to ske- speak up against the label. Well, now your label might shelf you because you didn't really do that great on your last. I'm just being honest, okay? Like, this is just straight up. You, you don't want to beef with your label when you're not really like selling like you did before. You're selling like less than half, you know, uh, no Drake feature, nothing, you know, like it just, he needed that. Um, I'm sure him and Roddy Rich are fine, you know. Bobby Schmurda addresses WAC 100, says, you know, again, you know, but this time on No Jumper, he says, um, you know what, I'm not gangster because I dance. Like, that doesn't even make any sense. I'll still fight somebody. Whack 100 just be talking to talk. Let's be honest. At this point, you know, he's just reacting to things on Clubhouse. It goes viral. It is what it is. Uh, and then he said, you know, he didn't really know who Whack 100 is. And when he, when he heard who he was, like who he manages and stuff, he was like, cool. But I, I have no problem with them. It's just that it doesn't make sense what he's saying, you know. Nicki Minaj reveals that, you know, she, now that she's a mother, she's not really into doing the explicit talk anymore. She, she wants to make her raps a little more or less explicit. That's why she had to pass up the Push It P single. Uh, there was a song by label wanted me to go full out single and everything right when I was pregnant and I couldn't bring myself to put out a song with the P's and D's and, you know, sucking and eating, she revealed. So she, uh, toned it down and she, she kept that consistent with um you know doing features you know she didn't do push and pee and all this other stuff she's she's just growing as an artist and in her age and she just wants to be more picky you know she would as a mother she wants to portray herself a certain way there's nothing wrong with that um Kanye West is about to have a meltdown because they're not giving him final edit on his Netflix documentary that's coming out. Um, the project's directors, Cootie and Chike, have denied Kanye a request to be in charge of his own image. They have a company called Creative Control. I remember Creative Control. Uh, because you don't want to lose your creative control. But they're taking... <laughs> you're taking it from him i don't know um i'm gonna say kindly for the last time that's what Kanye said i I want final edit i want to be in the editing room i don't blame him for wanting to be in the editing room honestly but i don't know (laughs) that'll be interesting he's gonna try try to tell people to probably not watch it um then we got Jim Jones talking about how we could have signed Meek Mill again. I'm glad he didn't sign Meek Mill because not many of the artists that he signed you hear about. I mean, you know, Max B had to fight his way out of that situation. Correct? Yes. Max B wasn't going to be heard. Who's been heard 
that Jim Jones put out? Nobody. So, I'm glad that Jim Jones didn't sign Meek Mill. That would have been horrible. Because, <laughs> you know, he wouldn't have blown up the way he did. Rick Ross did what he had to do with Meek Mill and made him big. And that's it, man. Appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash that like button. Gill Factor Records presents Gill Factor's new single, Do It Do Most. It most. Links below. Make sure you go support now. The swag's heavy, the jig's I rep BX rock steady, we born ready.